outside of Chicago's Rhodes Funeral Home, a ceremony to remember a victim of gun violence was interrupted by gun violence in a drive-by shooting. Police say the car's occupants ultimately crashed and fled from the scene, where officials counted at least 60 shell casings. It's the latest of more than 1,600 shooting incidents in Chicago this year, up more than 500 from this time a year ago. You see that? That's the look of incompetence. Lori Lightfoot is one of the most incompetent mayors in the entire United States. She has done nothing to fix her city. You know your city's corrupt when you can go from mayor to mayor to mayor to mayor and literally nothing changes. Listen to what this lady had to say about Trump wanted to send in unmarked agents to clean up her city. While... We all understand that having additional federal resources can be a value add. They're not a value add if they're um, nameless agents riding around in vans, pulling people off the street, depriving them of their constitutional rights. Um, that is not what a democracy looks like. And we are not going to have that in the city of Chicago. Okay, so, so wait a minute. That's where she draws the line. We're not going to have that in the city of Chicago. That's where she's going to put her foot down. Never mind the fact that 63 people were shot over the weekend, including nine children. Last night, they had another three-year-old shot. And that's on top of the record-setting weekend they had, Father's Day weekend, coincidentally. Fatherless homes being a big problem in the black community. That's when you had more than 100 people shot. But she can get up on a podium and passionately reject the president's offer to send in federal agents to help, marked or unmarked. This tells you where her priorities are. She just wants to grandstand. She just wants to push back. She wants to get her participation points for criticizing the president. Oh, no, Trump, you can't do this. Don't send people into Chicago while little kids are getting gunned down and people are getting shot at funerals for people who got shot. You can't make this stuff up. Unfortunately, we can't put anything past the Trump administration. I'm hopeful um, that they will not be foolish enough to bring that kind of nonsense to Chicago. But I'm also not naive and we're going to be diligent and we're going to be ready. And if we need to stop them, we are going to. So you're going to stop them from coming in. I didn't know you had the power to stop federal agents from coming into your city. If you're that powerful, why can't you stop the murder happening on the south side, in the west side of your city, on a nightly basis? Let me, let's just continue. There are some things that the federal government is uniquely qualified to do, starting with passing common sense gun uh, legislation. Whew. Okay. Now, this is where she gets incredibly dishonest. Chicago's already got strict gun laws. You can put more gun laws on the books right now. And all that's going to do is increase the shootings tenfold because then the people who are law abiding citizens aren't going to be able to defend themselves. Now, the difference between uh, most people who have guns is they just have it for self-defense in Chicago. They're getting guns so that they can commit crime at this funeral. People returned gunfire. Now, it's obviously probably some gang related situation, but still. The fact that they had guns to return gunfire probably kept more people from getting shot. I mean, if you have a gathering of probably 100 people at a funeral or however many people were there and then someone drives by and shoots into the crowd, the only thing that stops them from killing everybody there is if somebody in that crowd is armed. And that's what happened in this situation. They drove down the street because somebody was shooting back at them. This whole thing is a mess. To use that old platitude common sense gun legislation to scapegoat and deflect from the problems that are happening in your city is so dishonest. You already have common sense gun legislation on the books. So why are you even going there, Lori? If he wanted to do that, that would make a measurable difference in the violence fight here in Chicago and the cities across the country. That's what partnership would look like. He's chosen not to do that and instead vilify Chicago, make us a punching bag. We're not having it. Oh, that's right. Let's blame Trump for everything, right? It's not that your city continues to make headlines for all of the murder in, the, in your city. It's that Trump 
is using you as a punching bag. Typical Democrat playing the victim all the time. This city has been corrupt for half a century, if not longer. Going back to Al Capone, that city has been corrupt. And you see how corrupt they are today. When you have this mayor standing on a podium, rejecting help from the president because she doesn't like him. When damn, knowing damn well that that would help improve her city to send in federal agents. Trump said he wanted to send in the National Guard years ago. But what's the guy's name before her? I forget his name. Oh, Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel before her. We're not we're not going to allow that. We don't need federal help. There was a big controversy around that. See, they don't care about solving the problems. They don't care about the fact that little kids are getting killed every single day in that city. They just hate Donald Trump. This is Trump derangement syndrome. Chicago, it's sad. The third largest city in America has a murder rate higher than places in the Middle East. And Trump actually cares about it. Trump is actually speaking up about this. But they don't want to do anything about it. They just like to virtue signal and call out the president while black people are getting gunned down in the inner city. And it's not just Chicago. So, yeah, we don't want to just pick on Chicago. It's St. Louis. It's Baltimore. It's Detroit. It's Memphis. It's Oakland. It's everywhere in America where Democrats are in control.